Right, good morning. Still lovely views. Easter Sunday looking over at the stroma there. But the sun's gone in and it's very windy. I uh, expect it to get a bit more windy later, later on today. Uh, but the BBC and the local weather forecast say the sun's going to come out by 2 o'clock. Uh, so we're not waiting for it to come out any longer. So we're going to go over to Dunnett's Head now and have a look around there. Which is the um, the highest point in the UK. About 2.37 miles higher up than what John O'Groat is. I'm also testing out the mic as well uh, to see whether these little mics that are attached to your collar work. Okay, so end of test. Let's get in the car and go to Dunnett's Head. Dunnett Head car park viewpoint. Okay, so I'm looking from the car, I'm done at Head Car Park, which is the viewpoint. I'm looking at a ship over there, it looks like Royal Fleet Auxiliary, um, over there. How do I know that? Because uh, I used to load them and unload them many moons ago. So Dunnet Head, Dunnet Head, Seabird City. So Dunnet Head is one of the best places in Britain to see breeding seabirds and is of national importance. And as you can see from the information there that Dunnet Head is Britain's northernmost bastion. Some interesting information about Dunnett Head Lighthouse. Uh, established in 1831, it was built by Robert Stevenson's grandfather of Treasure Island author, Robert Louis Stevenson. Very interesting. 20 metres high, 51 steps, 9 ladders, and the lighthouse was automated in March 1989. There's the foghorn. Where they've got the one outside the John O'Groats Brewery. Hello, people. Hope you enjoy my videos. Not many birds there at the moment, they probably don't come until May. Just walking up to the summit of Dunnett's Head now. And uh, the weather forecast quite accurate, I think. It's actually starting to blow the clouds away. And we've got a bit of blue sky. It's extremely windy, though. Well, I say not extremely, extremely windy. But it's seven degrees, and this wind chill is actually bringing it down to about two.
So it's quite cold. Like this is, so it's just inside the Well, I'm not going to head so much now. You can see I'm well wrapped up. I'm freezing up here. Uh, and I've got to touch the top. As you do. And then up to the little bit here. Well, we got completely windswept on that little stroll around Donut Head. And apparently it's going to get even windier this afternoon. Uh, it's nice that the sun's coming out now. Uh, so we're going to go for a little drive down into Thurso now. Uh, see if we can find a cafe and uh, maybe have a warm drink. Um, so maybe speak again later on, maybe when we get back to the van or when we're having a coffee down in Thurso. There's all. Bye for now. Orkney ferry coming in. It's slowing down. To Pastroma. This is the original Dung Cansby, Cansby Head, I can't say it, Dung Cansby Head, Lighthouse Foghorn.
you love it when a bit of sun comes out. Great views. Walk down over there by the sandy beach. There's an information point just on the other side there. So we're actually walking on the John O'Groats Way now, which is 147 miles down to Inverness. Uh, I can assure you one thing, we won't be doing it. We'll probably do a mile if that's as much as that. Nice views today. This wasn't forecast, it was forecast rain all day. So obviously that, that gale force wind has blew them clouds away. BBC need to update their weather forecast. Who's that walking behind me? Hello, what is it? That's a human, I think. I've seen a couple of seals out there, but they're not being very cooperative. Every time I get the camera out, they'll jump underneath the water. Not very friendly at all, is it? Camera shy seals. What are you doing down there, Caroline? I fell. You fell over? Yeah. Where's your sticks? So where are we now? We're at Ness of Duncansby. Apparently there's a lot of um, wildlife around here, grey seals, birds etc. Uh, must be a bit too early in the year for them. Probably why the boats don't, don't start running until May. Um, all I've seen is a couple of uh, Canberra shy seals, some oyster catchers, and some lovely views. Stroma. And the rest of the islands there, Orkney Islands. I wonder why this beach is called Shell Beach.
interesting colours in the rocks. Well, I have seen a bit of sea wildlife today. I've seen an orca whale. And I think we definitely got back just in time. Look what's following us. As we were saying, we just got back in time, um, several s showers later, it's not as black as it was, but we're getting s rainbows. Just outside the caravan, isn't that lovely? And Caroline thinks I'm taking the mickey now by saying, isn't that lovely? Oh, I'm sorry. Have you took a photo? 